Whether you're just starting out on this Mac journey or if you've been on this Apple bandwagon for years, this video is tailored made for you. In this video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite apps that you might not even have heard about, but trust me, they are worth checking out. And rather than covering the standard popular apps that everyone knows about, like Photoshop, Lightroom, Notion, Figma, and things like that, I want to cover some that are pretty unique. Now, the first app I wanna talk about before we even start is SetApp. This is probably one of the first apps I install on every single new device that I get. And the reason is that it instantly gives me access to a library of over 240 apps. The way it works is that you pay a monthly fee and in exchange you get instant access to their entire app library. It's basically like Netflix but for apps. So you can imagine that it's a very cost-effective way to get access to new and interesting applications. Hence why this one is first on the list. The second one on the list is CleanShot X. This is a screen capture app that allows you not only to record and capture your screen but also to quickly edit your screenshots on the fly. Personally, I use this app a ton, especially if I want to share something quickly on social media or to quickly explain an idea, as I can easily add some points or highlight certain areas of a screenshot and then explain in an email what needs to be changed or what amendments I need. Now, the next one is Ego. Now, if you're a designer or a visual bookmarker like me, this app will be a complete game changer. What it does is that it allows you to collect and organize images and videos. It's basically like Pinterest, but it's more targeted towards creative professionals like us. And the thing that I absolutely love about this app is that it saves all the images at their full resolution so they don't get compressed at all and the best part is that they are all stored locally on your computer so that you can access them all the time even when you don't have access to internet but if you want to sync your libraries and share them with other people you can use services like Dropbox or Google Drive to sync up your files so there is a way around this if you actually need this extra functionality some other cool features that I like about this app is that they give you the ability to search for specific colors throughout your library and if you have videos inside your library, they will automatically play when you hover over them. Now, the next stop is Scrinto, which also happens to be the sponsor of this video. Now, I wasn't particularly looking for an app like this as they approached me for this video, but honestly, I'm glad they did. Scrinto is basically an app similar to Notion, but targeted more towards visual people like myself. Same as in Notion, you can add images, links, to-do lists, and all the other bells and whistles. But instead of organizing the information as lines of text and pages, they allow you to group everything in boards and cards. Now, the best part of it is that you can actually link these cards visually if you want to, so that you can see how all of this information relates to each other. It's basically like the red string that you see in the detective movies when they try to figure out how everything is connected. Now, I've been using this app for a week now and I personally absolutely love it. For me, at least, this is a complete game changer because I can visually see where all of my information is and how it relates to each other. And instead of having to go back and forth through pages, I can just quickly have a look at the board and identify exactly the information that I need. Now, before discovering this app, I tried to hack my way around with apps like Figma Jam and Miro, but they don't even come close to the things that you can do in Scrintle. You can create tags and organize your information. You can link cards with within cards or you can connect them using arrows for a more visual experience. Create to-do list, upload images, embed X posts, upload files, integrate YouTube or Vimeo videos, and even add the current time. Personally, I believe that this tool is amazing for organizing your work, projects, solving complex problems, or even doing research on various subjects. And another cool feature that I like is that they have these sections over here where you can quickly manage and search through your cards, your boards, your tags, tasks, and even your links. I mean, come on, that is pretty useful. Now, I know that some of you might prefer to have like a list view of all of your things, and that's okay. But for me personally, as a visual person, this thing is amazing. Now, the team at Scrinto was kind enough to give you guys a discount as well. So if you want to try it out, make sure to use the promo code Dennis10 at checkout to get 10% off your annual subscription. Link is in the description. Next up, we have an app called Paste. This is basically a clipboard on steroids. If you copy and paste out regularly like I do and you would like to have like a history of it, then this app is for you. It can keep track of pretty much anything, ranging from links, texts, images, color swatches, and even entire email templates. The thing that I like the most about this app is that if you need things regularly, it allows you to organize them into kind of like these folders, making it quick and easy for you to access them from anywhere. For me, what I use this the most being a designer is saving color swatches, as I can store entire color palettes in here and have quick access to them rather than needing to go back and forth between Figma and Webflow. 
Another app that I regularly use is called Today. This is probably one of the simplest apps on the list. All it does, it shows you your calendar events of the day in the top menu bar. Easy, simple, and very handy when you need to quickly check your schedule for the day. Then we have Side Notes. So this app allows you to create quick notes that you can keep on your screen. I mean, yes, you could argue that you can use the native OS app to do this as well. But what I like about Side Notes is that you have the ability to hide your notes under this sidebar over here. You can also create to-do lists and best of all, you can organize all of them in folders. This is, to me is a very useful tool, especially when I go into meetings, as I can quickly take notes and set myself tasks that I need to get done. And lastly, we have my calendar app, which is Notion Calendar. Now, personally, I haven't used this app for a long time, but so far, I really like what they have done with it. Me personally, I've always used Google Calendar to organize not only my work, but pretty much my entire life. But I always had this issue with the fact that there were no native apps that I can use, and I always had to go online to manage my events. But now with the Notion Calendar, I can do all of this inside here. I can schedule meetings, add events, add participants, add conferencing details, and the best thing about this is that you can use Google Meet links or you can actually connect your Zoom to add Zoom links to your events. And also an interesting thing that I haven't used yet, but I can see how this can be very useful, is that it connects automatically to your Notion account and syncs pretty much all of your pages and files that you have stored in your account. So when you're setting up a meeting, you can actually link a Notion page to an event, which is super useful in my opinion, especially if you want your participant to read something before your meeting. And that pretty much concludes the list. Now let me know which one of these apps is new for you and which one caught your attention the most. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like, follow me on Instagram and X, the X Twitter, or how you wanna call it, and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.